hi and thank you for watching okay so for today's video it's a little bit different because i'm standing up and i just wanted to film all of my favorite jackets and coats because there's so many different kinds of jackets so many different vibes so many different um utilities or whatever like that so if you want to see my favorite coats then stay tuned so first of all i just wanted a really neutral outfit so this t-shirt is from h&m and then these leggings are from victoria's secret as i'm trying these coats on i'll say the sizes and stuff like that and then just for reference like i'm a size what size I am. I don't know what size I am because it just differs, but I am a 40, 31, 40. So those are my measurements and that is what these coats look like on a body like. The first jacket that I'm going to show you, they're not even really jackets. Like you can still wear a coat over them. So this is not for weather. This is just like an outfit topper. This is a like houndstooth blazer. This is from H&M and it is a cream color with some gold detailing and black. This is a bit of a longer piece, which I love. If you want to see the back. Okay, so this is a US Zero, a Europe 32. This obviously runs huge because usually in H&M, I'm like a size 10, 12 in tops because I'm I, like, I have, um, I'm a, um, you do what you, you want. <laughs> I'm a bustier individual. I look like my couch that we had growing up. So this is a Cynthia Rowley blazer. I got this at TJ Maxx, so I won't be able to link this one because I think you just find them and get them. But it is a velvet blazer. Usually I don't love velvet, but this I just thought was cool. I might only like it because it reminds me of my couch. I'm not really sure, but it's cool. Very fall appropriate, the colors and all that. Okay, so this blazer is from The Gap. It's a size 10. I had, I've had this for a long time now. Gap has like really nice like office-y business attire, which I love. This uh, I actually got from the sushi restaurant that I worked at, it's Lost and Found, because it was in there for a year and no one claimed it, so they let me keep this. I just like to fold the sleeve in half and then bring it up. Super cute, especially if they have like silky lining because it'll show and be like, ooh. Or if you're wearing like a long sleeve top and then you fold the sleeve over, I think that's really cute too. I kind of feel like a Jonas Brother in this, so I can't go wrong with that. has a hood but like if it's cold out you can still definitely put like a winter coat on top but I just love these because they're lightweight they don't add bulk to you so like if you're out in the wilderness and you put on like a crazy coat when you get into your destination you can take your coat off and just have this as your outfit and it's really cute and comfortable and it like moves around with you because it's kind of light and this is from Abercrombie and Fitch got this a year or two ago um this is size medium and yeah i love this i wear this all the time so this i found at target this is basically the same thing except in a pumpkin color pumpkin spice kind of this is in a size small has a zipper which is nice the other one was just all snaps that's why i took it off like i'm from magic mike but this has a zipper and snaps so you can have that look, but it won't snap off on you if you eat too much mashed potatoes or something. This, like I said, is from Target. Cool color. I like to wear this color when I'm a little bit more tan. And it cinches in the waist. Again, you can move around. You can put a coat on top. Wear this your whole day. Because sometimes I feel like I pick out my outfit, I pick out my coat, and then when it's too warm, you have to take it off, and then you're like, oh. So now you're just stuck with like a t-shirt. It's too cold for a t-shirt. So these like everyday kind of coats. Also, this is from Target. This is a size small, and it is that 70s show. It's like a dark green. I mean, you can see what it is, but I'll just embarrass myself and try to explain it. This is a dark green corduroy shirling trim cropped jacket yeah. if you go out and you're real 
weather coat. You can spend the day wearing this and you're just warm enough. This, this is my only leather jacket. I don't have any black leather jackets. Um, I just think everyone else has them, so I will let them do the leather jacket thing. And then for me, like gray is my favorite color to wear, so I probably wouldn't have even own this if it wasn't in this color and this exact shade. You can do this up all the way. <laughs> um, I don't, but I love that it has this option or just like this detailing on the neck. And the lapels <laughs> are uneven and the zipper is like more on this side. It looks really cute and structured. And yeah, okay, so this is a US 10. So like I said, the blazer that was a zero, it maybe was even just mislabeled, I have no idea. This pattern, you know, like plaid or like any kind of houndstooth, gingham, anything like that just reminds me of school. This is the season that people started school. They're like in school right now. So I love this jacket. It is cropped a little bit, not as long as other coats. It goes with so many outfits. This collar a little bit used to try me because it would like kind of rub on my chin. So now I just let the popped collar sit out like Dracula kind of. This is a size small. This coat I got as a gift. This is from JLux Label. And I just think that this kind of felt feeling camel colored coat is essential for the winter. Really chic and stylish. Really warm because it's like felt or whatever. And it just looks really cute. It's not like structured. It'll keep you warm. This is actually longer. Longer than I accounted for. This is what it looks like on. That's how long it is. This is how long it is, but I really like this. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. You can wear like a really pretty like holiday dress under this or something like that. Yep. It's like casual enough, but glam enough. I've never had a trench coat before, but this I could not resist. This is from BCBG Max Azria, and I got this at Nordstrom Rack. It's like that kind of, <laughs> I was showing the material, I was not trying to be. Um, crude, that's gross. This is a rain coat material, which won't protect you from the rain because your arms are exposed, there's no hood or anything. But it's a really beautiful navy blue trench. I didn't have anything like it. And honestly, I got this on the superiest sale ever. I think this was originally like 300 or something. 25? Sure. This is a long trench of raindrop material, not raindrop. Rain coat material, and I love this. It's actually one of my favorite coats. I just forget about it a lot because it's so thin that it like disappears in my closet. This also was a random coat purchase that I was not planning on making. I bought this at Costco. <laughs> this is Michael Kors brand. The only reason I got a red Pico is because once upon a time, Kelly Clarkson sang Oh Holy Night in New York City while wearing a red pea coat, and it was a moment in time that I always remember. So this, I was like, I have to get. This is a size medium. So Forever 21 was having a really big sale. It was like 50% off the lowest marked prices. So coats were included in that, so I jumped on it and I purchased this. So this is a faux fur leopard print coat. And I think that it's like bomber jacket style because the cuffs are like this, like stretchy, like black material like this. And then the neckline is the same. I'm kind of like a bomber jacket, you know what I'm talking about? So it's not like so far out of touch, even though it's a faux fur coat, so it looks like you can wear this in real life. And I do, this is a little bit long. Really glam if you want it to be, of course. I mean, it's a leopard coat, but I think it's cool. I'm trying to remember to do the sizes before I yeah. put it on, but I forget. This is a size medium and I love it. This is my other purchase from that Forever 21 sale, another size medium faux fur coat. This is a purple fur, so I don't know what it's pretending to be. The sale was a couple years ago, so people would be like, oh, is that real? And I'd be like, yeah, real teddy bear, even though it's like pretending to be like real fur. So I used to call this my teddy bear coat. Little did I know we were then going to be served with actual teddy bear coats. This purchase is from this year's Nordstrom sale. This is a teddy bear coat. This is a faux shirling coat from the brand Kenzie and I got this at Nordstrom. 
This coat runs really big, so this is a size small, and you can see it adds quite a bit of bulk, like fur, there's like texture to it. It's not going to be like slimming or anything like that. But I love this coat so much. I love the color. I love how warm this keeps me. Teddy bear coats are everything this season. I highly recommend you pick one up. They have them of all different price ranges, and I don't believe that they market them as teddy bear coats. I think they call them faux shirling. It's a really neutral color, so this goes with everything. And this is like the coolest, like really trendy piece. I actually think that this is replacing faux fur coats right now, the faux shirling. If you're living in 2018, you need a teddy bear coat. And then my dreamest of dreams was realized at Nordstrom. This coat is from the brand S13. And this is my dream coat. Do you guys follow Tony Sabdalis on YouTube? Because if you don't, you should. She showed me teddy bear coats. She showed me trash bag looking coats. She showed me all the best outerwear because she's from Montreal. It's very cold in Montreal where she lives. So if she's going to do something, she's going to do it cute. Outerwear, she is all about it. This is just the cutest coat ever. This is a size large. It runs pretty small. But I just love this puffer coat and how shiny it is like a trash bag. These are the sleeves. Keeps your hands really warm, like if you're driving and stuff like that, or you can just tuck them in. It's no big deal. You really don't have to wear them. I like both ways, but this is the cutest coat and it keeps you so warm you wouldn't even believe it. This is my favorite coat of the season, 100%. This faux fur looks, this looks like real fur. Like this is some of the closest faux fur I've seen. Not that I want it to look like I have like a dead, ferret on my head but I just love how thick and beautiful the hair is it has a balayage what is happening it has like a balayage this is the cutest coat ever you guys I love this this is not a coat for everybody but I love this so much I think this is going to be a pretty big trend this season so I'll find you similar coats this I got from H&M in the middle of the summer this year for $12, you can wear it like Ariana Grande. You know, big puffer coat. Wear it like this. This is a size 12. This zips up. This is crazy warm. It's very thick. It will do nothing for your figure, but it'll do everything to keep you warm. It's purple, so go Lakers. It's just like a really good essential coat. If you're not into shiny, you're not into fur, you just want to stay warm in the weather, this is a really good coat. It's that waterproof material. It's big, it's warm, you can wear anything underneath. I actually don't recommend driving in this coat because it is so crazy warm. Like, just bring it with you in the car and then when you're walking through the snow, put it on and then by the time you get to your destination, you can just leave it on a coat rack. It is that intense. And last but not least is this parka from Abercrombie & Fitch. So I purchased this three years ago and this is the most expensive coat that I have in my video. This was $240. I got this three years ago and it is heavy duty. This is like my when it's snowing outside kind of coat. I love this so much. It is a canvas material on the outside and then like that shirling inside. This still looks pretty good. Like this is three years old. I love this coat so much. It is heavy duty, but it's actually pretty thin. For real, this was like my first coat. It still looks like I have a figure. It's not poofy or anything. You can still tell that I have a figure. This coat, like, I'll probably keep this coat forever if I can because this was like my first big purchase of my whole closet. So that is it, you guys. Those are all my winter coats. So many of them are must-haves. I have so many different styles. They're just useful pieces to add to your wardrobe. They keep you warm, but they still make you look really cute because I don't think that it should be one or the other utility or trend, you know? I like to thank my cameraman, Brandon. He's helped me pick out a lot of these coats when I'm undecided. Usually though, if I show him two coats and I say, which one should I get? He'll say both, <laughs> but whatever, um, it works for me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Am I showing more my dedication to YouTube or basketball by doing this? <laughs> and then I learned about Nordstrom and bought some other coats. Texture twins, you see this? Oh, oh, be do. I wanna be like you. I wanna walk like you, talk like you too. And color twins.